Bailey Loom Fiddleheads! Welcome to Station AOAS. I'm Felicity Picklebottom, and this is my first Omnicast. If I make any mistakes and you decide to show your displeasure, be advised, throwing rotting tomatoes at me will have no effect on anything other than your viewing screen. With that out of the way, let's look back at this date in history. In 1833, the world's first newsboy is hired, 10-year-old Barney Flaherty, employee of the New York Sun. 1885, the first ever cafeteria opens. In NYC, naturally. <laughs> 1888, George Eastman paints the first roll film camera and registers Kodak. 1893, English author Beatrix Potter first writes the story of Peter Rabbit for a five-year-old boy. 1972, The Price is Right, US's longest running game show debuts on CBS. 1990, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Directed by Tom Stoppard wins the Golden Lion Award at the 47th Venice Film Festival. You may wonder how this fact ended up being included today. Our script supervisor is how, being as the film is her favourite comedy. Yeah, she has an offbeat sense of humour. Hmm. 1995 cult TV series Xena Warrior Princess, starring Lucy Lawless, debuts in the US. And finally, in 2002, Kelly Clarkson is crowned the winner of the first series of American Idol. TV singing competition series. In today's weather news, temperatures continue to stay divided in dim Z, with ground temps hovering around 27 degrees Celsius, 80 plus Fahrenheit, and temps six feet above ground level averaging with about negative one Celsius and 30.2 Fahrenheit. As a result, the dimension has become a travel destination with tourists clamoring for fruitsicles. Fruits frozen in place on the trees on which they grow. <laughs> Twigs and branches are being torn off innocent trees in record numbers, causing the near destruction of several forests. The Omniversal Council is being called on to declare an interdimensional state of emergency. Poor trees. Next week, your local plenipotentiary, Joy, will kick off her month-long campaign to start the world's most powerful secret society from preventing her novel and expose on the group from being published. Sign up for your copy before she's silenced for good. A new series of hard-hitting book commentaries had just burbled up from the primordial ooze. Check out the chapter and verse playlist on this channel for the latest episode. It's the first week back to school at the Academy. Do you have your books yet? If not, visit the campus bookstore where dozens of titles are available, even to people like you. And now for today's straight from the art segment, I'll read an excerpt from Portals and Prose and Verse the fourth in the Omni Anthology series. The Forest Path by DJ Piper. I walk along the forest path, enjoying the quiet solitude. The towering deciduous trees shield me from the summer sun, and the gentle breeze caresses my face as it blows through my hair. The cheerful sounds of birds in the trees suddenly silences as a hawk keels overhead in pursuit of a meal. Then, shortly afterward, the chirping resumes. I breathe deeply and inhale the woodsy smell of moist soil and the decomposing leaves that will nourish a future generation of plants. The slight scent of wildflowers tickles my nose, and I look around and see delicate purple blossoms carpeting the forest floor. My walking partner is the rushing water of the creek beside the path. Sometimes I sit on a boulder, take off my shoes and socks, and dip my feet in the cold mountain water. I feel so alive with the sun's warmth on my face and the cold water on my feet. Some days I choose to sit on a fallen log near the small clearing where I occasionally see a deer foraging for tender shoots of grass. The summer warmth and the buzzing of insects almost lull me to sleep. Sometimes I walk along the forest path for miles, restoring inner peace on my journey. One of my favourite destinations is the Cascades, a series of small waterfalls created by boulders in the steep creek bed. Today, though, I'm exploring the cave cut into the side of the mountain just beyond the waterfalls. Walking through the mouth of the cave, I'm shrouded in a cool, quiet dampness and shiver in the unaccustomed chill. Suddenly the phone rings, and the forest path is again just a painting on a living room wall. If you'd like more from this transporting anthology, copies are available on Amazon, where you can go shoe shopping while you're at it. <laughs> Today's news report is brought to you by Plunder, the O Academy Rewards Program. Every time you attend an event, buy a book, present an Omnicast, and much more, you earn Plunder Ducats, Omni's cryptocurrency that can be cashed in for swag and gifts. 
In fact, I just earned 25 ducats by talking to you here today. The word of the week is on, and that's the natural version of the number one. See the description box below for the word link. In event news, if you haven't yet made your reservations for the nightmare before Christmas, with carolers, on October 15th, you better get to it this instant. Don't worry. Oh, wait. water. Who would have known? Oh, you're back. <laughs> now where was I? Ah, yes. If the secret society mentioned earlier has not gone to our plenipotentiary joy, she will be launching her 1880s novel over tea at a Victorian house museum on November 5th. <laughs> After that will be the last book launch of the year on November 13th for Fabulae Ex Elementis, the fairy tale book, with a tea at 11am followed by the Omnifet Arts Fair at noon. Hooray, hooray! <laughs> Finally, here's what you can look forward to wasting your time on in the upcoming week. Bring your manners to work day. Well, I should hope you bring your manners to work every day. Newspaper carrier day. I wonder if that's in honour of Barney Flaherty, that first newspaper boy. Hmm. Be late for something day. Fight procrastination day. Me every day. <laughs> Read a book day. National salami day. Neither rain nor snow day. International literacy day. National ampersand day. Teddy bear day. Sewing machine day and swap ideas day. That concludes today's Omnicast. For station AOAS, I'm Felicity Picklebottom. Cheriste som!